welcome to Wendy's Colouring and today, uh, as you can see, I've been ordering from Timu. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's how I'm saying it. Uh, yeah, I, I've spotted this brand quite a lot, let's be honest, it's all over YouTube at the moment. Um, and when I didn't know they at it, obviously they've only just really opened for the UK and it's free postage. So I thought I'd be interested to see what the quality's like. Is there any stuff for colouring on there? And as you can see, I've got a few sample bags to try out to see what it's like. So let me make a bit of room because this is driving me mad on here for a start. In fact, I'm going to lift the first one off completely. This video may be in parts because I feel like it feels like a lot of stuff to look at. Who knows? We'll see. As you might have noticed if you've watched any of my hauls over the years, I'm no stranger to ordering from lots of different places. I order from Ali, not regularly, I wouldn't describe it as regularly, but there are a few shops on there that I know do nice things, they package it reason reasonably well, and they offer a reasonable service. It's always quite a way in waiting for them to arrive. They're never quick, two, three weeks normally. Um, and obviously Ali has its hazards, doesn't it? There's dodgy stuff on there, there's stolen copyright uh, visuals definitely on there. I don't tend to order any of that, obviously. Some of the quality is a bit ropey, definitely, but over the years I've discovered there's, you know, a nice bookshop, there's some great washi tape uh, manufacturers that's considerably cheaper than some of the fancier looking washi tape places. Um, and the odd few bits of uh, equipment and materials those kind of things I've got from there and they've been okay so I was curious to see how this brand compares to Ali I was expecting reasonably cheap things if I'm honest um, but I thought well we'll give it a go and we'll see what we'll get so who knows it's buyer beware isn't it let's be honest so I bought as you might have noticed from my last alley, I've not ordered a, uh, lots of things last time, but I did buy these that you might have seen in my haul that have these little cute little bookmarks with the watercolour and then in the back they have this little paintbrush. And the quality of these is not bad, it's quite nicely produced, the finish is quite nice. Um, yeah, and I was quite impressed with them. I thought they're quite a little handy thing. So I did notice there were a couple of them on here. I fished them out of the depths of my bag. So the last one out first, last one out of this bag. So I ordered these ones, which they kind of look like they were the same thing. But as you can see now, I've got them in real life. They are not quite the same. So those are the three that I've just got. And this is my original one from Ali. This middle one, is it bees? What's this one called? Cultivate good aesthetics, hands-on and thinking ability. 20 pieces. This one with the bee on looks very similar. It's got a foil uh, plastic wrap thing on. Let's try and get in it. Ooh. Sorry if this is reflecting because I'm mauling with the scissors. I can't see. Um, can I get in it? I hate plastic wrap. What is the point of plastic wrapping something that's already going in a plastic bag? Unnecessary waste. Let's get rid of that. So, this one looks very similar. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, the paper. Hmm. Paper feels a bit smoother, maybe? Oh no, maybe not, maybe not, maybe I'm imagining it. So this one feels very similar. Have we got the little brush? And yeah, we've got the little brush in the back. So that one feels pretty same as the one I've got from Ali. I think the quality is about the same. The little, uh, oh, got, now that is different. The back of this one, the one that I got from Ali has a double palette like that, if my camera wants to focus. This one seems to have like a, this is a mistake page because the watercolors got printed off the side. And so, yeah, you don't have the spur. You Well, you do have a spur, but it's basically a incorrect printed. Whereas my Ali 
Express ones, and I think these are on Amazon. I've seen them on Amazon as well. These have nice, deliberately printed extra palettes in the back. This one just has one spur palette in the back, and it's clearly a misprint. Um, but the images, again, they're cute. They're an easy little colour. Great to chuck in a bag. I'm reasonably happy with that. And they were about the same kind of price. So I think that's a good kind of even Steven. These ones, these ones are super thin and are nothing like that one. So let's have a look at this one. Still got a brush there in the back. Get the... It's going to be quite a bit of plastic in this video, I feel. Sorry in advance. Let's get rid of that. So the brush, brush is okay. It's obviously no great shakes. The the um, the actual brush bit is that feels like it's yeah it's it's plastic and it bends. What are these ones? I don't think these are plastic. No, that one's wood. In that one, so this one that feels the same. Yeah, that one's wood. Yeah, this feels like a little kid's brush. But the actual bristles look okay. They're not too bad, are they? But why is it so thin? Let's have a look. Ooh. Oh, hello. <laughs> we won't bother with a book. We'll just give you loose leaf. Okay, so we've got loose joints. It's quite a cute little thing, but what is that? what's going on with this one? We're back to oh, we're not not even joining them at all. We'll just stick them in loose, upside down, back to front. Well, at least you can see the designs because it'll be easy to show. Oh, this this one looks like it's been cut on my guillotine at school, like mm, wibbly wobbly. Yeah, this one is not a quality product. It's not even unstuck at the top. Yeah, this is a bit disappointing, isn't it? The actual little bookmarks are not too bad. Fairly okay. This is not the same paper as the other two. This feels like a shiny card on that side. So they printed on the matte side. Are these all different designs? Yeah, they are different. I do like the designs on them, actually. The designs are quite cute, aren't they? But they just haven't... Oh, you're off the screen now. Let's move these down a bit so I can put the other ones on at the top. Oop, these ones are joined upside down to each other. How weird. And these ones are still joined together. So... Those other ones have 20 images in. What have we got here? Three, six, nine. This one has 12 in that they haven't bothered to join, which it's not the end of the world, is it? But they could have just turned them round the right way. <laughs> Wouldn't have killed them, would it? Just getting them the right old order. I quite like the little designs. I think the little designs in them are quite cute. But yeah, the quality of these does not feel as nice the, the cuts on the edge yeah that one is not straight at all it's got a big you probably can't see it but it's got when you run your finger down it you can feel it's not straight it's like being cut with a pair of badly cut scissors or something like that it's got the edge of the last one on it yeah quality control on this one not great I don't know we'll have to see how watercolor goes on it I'm not too hopeful but yeah, we'll just put it loose leaf in the little thing and a loose leaf little brush. So yeah, I like the images. I'll still use them. I'm fearful that this one, this one looks so cute. Look at it, it's cute. So I was quite hopeful for this one that it'd be quite a fun little colour. At least this one's got its own little space in the plastic properly to hold the brush. So it does feel like it's been packaged properly can't get it out is it the same rubbish brush it's similar but it doesn't feel quite as bad this one's got like a really bad seam on the side that actually feels quite sharp when you run your finger over it this one it's very very similar but yeah it's still that kind of bendy plastic then is this loose leaf oh no this is actually a book again hooray so, same thing again. So it feels like we've got a lot less. But these are cute. <laughs> what is that? Why is it got? Is it catching a snowflake on its tongue? I kind of really like this little book. 
concentration tongue. <laughs> I can't open it. Uh, turn the page. <laughs> that is a very, is it pig? It's a very sulky pig. <laughs> yeah, these designs are silly. They suit me. <laughs> Look at him. Helicopter with his glasses on and quite a big nose. <laughs> Car with a little face. Yeah, this is definitely for kids. I really like it. <laughs> uh, goodness. Oh, there's some little spaceships. Another spaceship with some characters in. I feel like I've got one page left. Yes, I have. Just rockets and you get nose spur palettes at the back. I quite like that one. It's a little bit thinner than my other ones that I've got. How many pages you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it's got twelve, the same as this other one. But this one feels like it's been uh, put together by someone that wasn't even looking. This one at least feels like it's they've tried to keep the quality reasonable on it. Paper. Paper is very similar to this one, I think. It feels like it's got that shiny card on the back but it's a bit more matte on that side interested to see how they both take watercolor but i'm fairly happy with all of those this one is it's nice same as the other ones pretty much same quality the drawings are cute in it they're just all insecty ones these ones I quite like some of those as well they're quite cute um yeah, I think they're all right, aren't they? I don't mind those. These brushes, mm, not so great, but, you know. They're kids' brushes, aren't they? What do you want? It's not too bad. Let's have that off. We might have a light on as well. Ooh, let's put the light on. Is that too bright? No, it's not, it's not too bad. Colour's a bit better now, isn't it? Okay, what else have we got in this bag? Ooh. So, I, as you know, I do like my acrylic markers. So I thought they had quite a few different sets of acrylic markers. They had a bigger one than this and I was very tempted with the bigger one, but I'd set myself a limit of how much I was prepared to spend. And I thought I'm not going in any more than that. So we'd get the smaller set. Excuse me while I have a sip of my drink. I should say, incidentally, I have bought all of this with my own money. I'm not sponsored. They've not sent me anything. Um, I've just gone on the site and bought it like anybody else would so I'm showing it because I was interested and I thought well if I'm ordering I may as well show it um, but yeah they've not paid me they've not sent me anything it is purely my own cash hence why I did not buy the bigger set of these so this is a 36 set it says it'll go on paper canvas glass ceramic plastic and wood and I quite like this little perspex uh, acetate box oh that one opens as well to keep them in yeah that's quite nice isn't it as a set together these are not the normal fine nibs that i get so the markers have got acrylic marker written on it i'm guessing this says acrylic marker no numbers or names and it has a colored capped end and obviously the little stripe of colour and as you can see they have quite a chunky little nib so what have I got paper wise Oop. Just let me grab a pad if I've got any pages left in this my little my little scroller box pad that I have on my desk for such things as this get a bit of paper so this is just normal cartridge paper Ooh, it's quite juicy. Yeah, obviously I'm not going to get a fine line and I use mine quite a lot for um, going over lines, black, black lines. I probably won't use these for that because they'd be very difficult to control like that. But so far, so good. I was thinking these would be when I put them in my basket, they might be good for if I just wanted a bit of an acrylic background and I didn't want to have to actually paint it, these might be a good little cheap way of doing a background. Will that go over the other one? Oh yeah, not too bad. 
cheap way of doing a background was what I was thinking when I'm being lazy and I don't want to paint it. I've painted quite a few acrylic backgrounds lately, so I thought this must, might be just a little bit easier. Actually, I'm quite pleased with these. Um, got quite a nice colour palette. Uh, they're coming out okay. They're a little bit you can liney, aren't they? Like the pinks, you can really see the um, nib marks in them. Maybe if we put a second coat over them, what do they look like? Is it better with a second coat? Oh yeah, it's better with a second coat. Look. Not too bad. They're definitely drying. Well, they're drying quick, as you can see. Drying quite quick, and they're drying quite matte, which I like as well. So yeah, I don't think that's a bad little set. I will try and link all of these bits and pieces at the bottom and prices. I'll be honest. Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember what these were. I have a feeling they were about sixteen pounds, maybe something like that. I can't remember. I'm making it up now because I can't remember. Um, but yeah, so far, as long as they all work, I'm hoping these uh, they look okay. Let's make sure they all work. That's not a bad idea, is it? Just do a quick one with all of them. I might speed you up. <laughs> then you're not watching me do every single pen. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, that's all of them swatched, apart from the white, which I thought I'd see. Obviously, you're not going to see it like that, but I thought I'd see how it looks over the top of some of the other colours. But yeah, this is the colour palette. They all work. There wasn't any that weren't. White's not super strong, as you can see. But you're still getting, you can still see the whites there. Um, another coat of it probably would lighten whatever it is you're trying to do. And I've just had a look on my email, and this was £13.50 for this set. So 36 markers, these colours. I don't think that's bad for £13. I don't think that's a terrible. They do feel reasonably light. How much ink's in them? Yeah, that's a question, isn't it? Um, but I don't, the caps feel nice. It doesn't feel like it's poorly made. I've got it all on my fingers, as you can see, because I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think they're okay for the money. And like I say, be great for backgrounds. I might number them so when I do a proper swatch chart with them, because there's a few different purples and the blues look quite similar. Um, not when you actually use them, but in the, these little plastic uh, colour swatches that are on them, they look similar. So I might just put with um, a Sharpie or something, a number on the top of the colour cap so that they're easy. But I quite like this little case that it's in. I think that's quite handy, keeps them all together, easily found, easily to see if you're missing one. Yeah, I think that's not a bad little buy. Put that there. Okay. Move me rubbish. What else have I got? This one is more for my diamond painting. That was just a little storage thing that I saw somebody in one of the Facebook groups was um, using. So there, as you can see, there's quite a few of them. I'm like, was it 50 or 100? Does it say on it? Mm, silvery storage bags. No number. I think there's probably a hundred looking at them, but I was just thinking for when I finished a diamond painting and you've got some um, drills left, can't get in them, but these are just a quick little easy bag to put your drills in and then they come with the little ring and you can put them all these little bags on the rings so that you know where they are. I probably won't do, that, do it with my... Uh, any cheaper diamond paintings but if I've got you know proper diamond art ones and obviously you might get the same drills again in another one I thought they might be handy for a bit of storage I think they were three pounds fifty or something like that nothing much but I just thought that actually that would be handy 
Um, I'm about a quarter of the way done with the diamond art one that I'm doing. So I'm thinking, oh, what am I going to do with those next? Then what else did I get from my bag? I got this little badge. This little, I'm not a great cat lover, but he likes books. So I thought, why not? I can go on one of my pencil cases. So it's just, mm, can you see, like one of those pin back little badges. And I thought it can go on one of my more fabricy pencil cases. I'm not even going to put him away. He can sit there waiting to find a home. Then, obviously, I do like my watercolours. So I thought I'd try some of my, some of the watercolour offerings to see what they were. I think these two, which are, um, are metallic ones, uh, were about £3.50 each, which is nothing. This one we'll come back to in a minute, but let's have a look what they're like. Obviously, I have made my own watercolours in the past. My dog wants out. Hold on while I pause. <laughs> Sorry, back. Bossed about by a tiny dog again, as usual. <laughs> Why are you talking to yourself, Mum? I want out of here. You're weird. <laughs> Dogs. Who'd have them? So this one's Vintage Shimmer Solid Watercolour, 12 colours. Ooh. They don't look terrible for three pounds, do they? Little slidey hard plastic case. And then you've got uh, little quarter pans. Actually, they look okay, don't they? So you've got, Basically a range of coppers, bronzes, um, kind of old gold looking golds, pearly white, a silver, a couple of purpley looking ones and maybe a metallic black and a metallic green. But they don't look terrible. So look at this one's Shimmer Sol Solid Watercolour Candy. Again, I think it was... 349 these are oh, plastic again unnecessary plastic how did I get in that one was it a oh, it's a push push uh, and those are the colour you get so you got blue yellow pink another kind of uh, dusky rose purple green quite a few greens in there isn't there orange yellow and a more kind of red purple and a darker uh, pink but yeah so that was kind of seven pounds worth they're not too bad and then this one is a face palette face colors not not for your face <laughs> obviously we will be getting makeup <laughs> only paint so i don't have a, a watercolor um skin palette so I thought that might be, um, how does this one open? Is this also a push? Yes. So I thought that might be also interesting to have a go and see what they're like. Yeah, they look quite nice, don't they? I don't think that's too bad. Um, so we need to try and paint them. But in order to do that, I need some water. Hold on and I shall pause. Okay. I am back. Now, before we <laughs> actually have a go with these, I thought I'd show you my next little item, which, as you can see, I've already opened because it kind of relates to this that I'm doing now. So I also got this little um, water for watercolour painting container. So it has, although they've stuck a sticker over it, obviously, a little container with water and then a little channel and almost a divot in here that you can clean your brush in but then you push the little button and the water's supposed to go back down the hole and it'll bring some more water out so you can use it so you push this button and then you get more water in your little hole from the the big reservoir and the old stuff goes into the bottom bit so i bought this item and as you can see i've been nosing at it because it needed to be made so all these little bits came separate. So this pink bit came separate, the switch, the spring, the little screw. There are no instructions. It has a 
little leaflet in the box. So I was like, oh, all right, this will show me how to make it. No, no, it didn't. It just showed me what not to do with it. Don't leave your water in. It'll go nasty. Don't put it on a tilted surface, etc. So I was like, mm, okay, can I actually figure out how to do this? Well, so I've put it all together and I uh, don't know if you can see. Can you see? But now when I press the little button, the little pink stopper does work. It wasn't too difficult. You literally just push this piece on, snap your little button to the bottom of this and screw the screw in. And then the water jar, which I also have here ready, the lid is not easy to get on and off. I've got it on now and it seems pretty watertight. And as you can see, you've got this big hole in the top. And the idea is it has a bit here that sticks out. So when you place it, this is where I get water all over. And I might have to pause in a minute in case I get water everywhere. I've also got no idea on whether this desk is actually straight or not. So. It worked when it was in the kitchen on my flat kitchen counter, but will it work on my desk, which is a bit more rickety. So the idea is you put it in. Oh, is it gonna stop? Please stop. Oh, I think it has. So now I've got a little divot of fresh water here that in theory, I can pop on my little paints. Let's bring them down so that hopefully we can see. So we'll try it out. I'm not going to try them all out because that would be crazy. We'll be here forever. Oh, hello. <laughs> but yeah, because it works from gravity, I think basically, as soon as the water drops below a certain point in there, it automatically replaces it like you've just seen. I think it'll be okay for watercolours. I don't think it'll be so great for... Um, acrylics because I think acrylics will make too much of a mess of that that section and I think acrylics will dry in the mechanism and the mechanism is quite weak already so I'll shove you over water and I've already got out some watercolour paper just to see what these are like but I do need a brush let's, uh, let's not have a massive brush so I quite like it. Uh, I'll do the one that I started with first because that's perhaps more likely to be reasonably wet. So far they look okay, but what are they actually like? Yeah. It's quite sparkly it's not too bad so I think the idea with this is I can uh, and if I want to get rid of that bit of water I just put it away and it will fill itself back up again is it sad that I don't quite like it yeah I should have put more water on these they definitely need a bit more water I'm not going to do them all. We'll be here all day otherwise. <laughs> it's kind of like I've got a fish tank glooping about next to me. It's quite funny. But yeah, ooh, they really uh, use up the water. quite nice they're not too bad at all try this murky looking green yeah it does look quite murky I think that was a good description it kind of looks more green when you first put it on but then as it dries, it looks more grey-like. Actually, this has got like little um, 
plastic ridges on the side that's actually quite good getting your uh, the stuff off your brush goodbye dirty water <laughs> I'm just gonna be playing with that all night <gasps> I'll try and go quicker because otherwise that's Alex I'm gonna skip and do some of the bright colors I think See what this candy pink looks like. It's quite nice and pink. It's very yellowy. It's almost like a bright gold, which is useful as the metallic set doesn't have a bright, vivid looking gold. But yeah, they're okay, aren't they? Metallics candy, get a tick, I think. I think they're pretty nice looking uh, paints for the money. So yeah, if you really fancy some metallic paints, I don't think these are a bad little buy. I think there was a third little set of these. Um, and I thought, oh, I'll try the skin tone set rather than the, the other metallics. Let's have a look what these are like. Hmm, feels quite creamy. I don't know if I feel like there's enough pigment in them, maybe. It's a nice enough colour, isn't it? But it's pretty thin colour. Try this one. That one maybe feels a bit better. Maybe it was just the pink that's not not great. Maybe I'm liking them. Maybe it's just that very bright pinky one I didn't like. Let's try a darker one. Hmm. But yeah, paints, I think. They are, for the money, a reasonable buy. And I don't hate these little um, little acetate containers they're in. They are kind of chunking about in them a little bit. And how much that, yeah, see that's going to go, once they're wet, it's going to go all over it. That's going to annoy me. I shall have to clean it. Maybe I won't put those lids back on. So yeah, if you were taking them to travel, you don't have to wait for them to dry before you can put the little lid back on. Otherwise you're going to get paints all over your lid and then over time that's going to contaminate them, isn't it? So I quite like these little lids. Um, two more little lids for them there. Let's move them onto the window ledge so that these can dry. Let me move them. But yeah, overall, I don't hate them. No. I mean, little machine, I do quite like. It feels entirely and utterly cheap. Plastic is cheap. These fittings are very cheap. But that's the only thing. When you're, you've got dirty in there, it's kind of slowly making its way up towards the reservoir. How much that would happen? I suppose this little bit here does get a bit dirty. But yeah, if you really like having clean water to hand, I like this little thing. Like I say, I don't think it'll last a huge amount of time. It feels the cheapest piece of tat I've used for a long time, but it does work. Quite surprisingly, I'm as surprised as maybe you are. I'm gonna throw this tatty package in away, but this was an amazing, also £3.50. 
So what do I want for £3.50? Because that's not too bad, is it? Right, I'm going to get the second bag of tat and I shall be back. Just a sec. Okay, so I've got my second bag of stool. Um, I'm following on from my watercolours. I don't know why I've left this here. Let's move that as well. Too much stuff, not enough room. I did spot this on there. So a medium porcelain palette. I only have some nasty, now very old, plastic palettes that don't look great. And I certainly don't have a palette that I, I could use for watercolour in particular. Um, and just leave watercolour in it so we can re-wet it. So I thought this... Hold on, I'm going to pause it and see how much it was. Okay, this was £6.74. £6.74. Uh, for a porcelain palette. Oh, squeaky polystyrene. I do apologise, that's horrible. Oh. However, palette is not horrible. And it's also in one piece, which is more my worry. Because these arrived in the orange... Oh, these are great big orange bags they have no packaging protection inside but as you heard this was in polystyrene inside the actual box that it came in so yeah, it's okay actually why is it got a little, it's almost usable on the other side isn't it you've got like little so that's you can hold it maybe i don't know You've got little glazed shapes. The, this bit is unglazed, so that it didn't stick, obviously, to the kiln. But these bits are also glazed. I'm guessing maybe so you can hold it. I don't know. But then you've got all these little sections in that are, yeah, beautifully glazed. I'm quite impressed with that. It's a bit bigger than I thought it was. And when I've seen other people ordering one of those, they've got the little kind of circular one that's just got uh, six or seven little main spaces you've not got all these little spaces it's a bit unusual isn't it i'm quite pleased with that but yeah six pounds can't moan about that kind of that's pretty much okay and because i had no confidence in this thing that i've pushed away ooh, i also ordered the other one that they uh, have on site which again i've seen other people have got from them because i thought if i'm doing acrylics I want something that's a bit more chunky and hard wearing and this again I think was three pounds something it has a main lid to it that has this little painting palette thing that if I'm honest I'm probably not going to use it's got little bits of plastic sticking up in it so that will be a pain when you're trying to wash it but you never know might be useful and then you've got this big kind of two sectioned bath with its little handle and you've got little spaces that you can, in theory, let your brushes sit in to dry so that your bristles, in theory, <laughs> if I remember to do this, should dry okay. So I was thinking this would be more useful for acrylics when I am using acrylic paint. Um, that this, you know, if I get acrylic all over this and it dries a bit, it doesn't matter, does it? It's fairly cheap. Um, is that so you can rest them in there? Yeah, that those are bad sections because I will just leave my brush there. Not this because this was not a cheap brush, but yeah. I think again, if you haven't got anything, I have got. I'll be honest, my <laughs> paint. I have a <laughs> a nasty beaker that, as you can see, is nasty because it's been used for paint a lot. And then I have a clean beaker <laughs> on my desk, which is what is normally here, and I'm quite regularly tipping them over. So I thought these are a bit more stable and even me in my clumsy world surely can't knock those over. And if I want to go painting outside, I could. I'm not gonna. But yeah, I think that'll be quite handy for my desk. I quite like my other thing because that's pretty nifty, but when I break this one, which I will, um, I've got an actual usable one that let's be honest, I can have for a lifetime. That's always going to be fine, isn't it? I think that will be a good little object. So I keep picking that brush up. Then what else have I got in here? Boring stuff. So I got some painter's masking tape because I keep using my uh, washi tape 
for masking when I've been doing a lot of watercolour backgrounds in books like Maria Troll I've done uh, one for the last two months I can't find the end of this where is the end uh, I keep using washi tape just because it's handy and that's not good there's the end so I thought no get some actual mm. yeah so I'll be trying that I think when I next do my watercolour backgrounds I've got three they were cheap as well they're cheap from lots of places it's no great exciting thing what else have I got I've also got a hmm, surprising little box. Oh, I got this little box that has this silicon thing in that hopefully I can put my Apple Pencil in and not keep losing it. Because this thing's magnetic, it's great. I put it down on the coffee table downstairs and then I forget I've put it there and then it's got stuck to other things that I've moved and then I realised that it's stuck to something else so I thought actually having it in a little um, case would be handy and it has a little charge thing that I think would fit in there for when I'm using the wire to charge my other um, pencil so I thought that would be quite handy and that's quite neat and tidy I quite like that uh, now what else I have got some stencils for backgrounds. Can't find the way into this bag. I do apologise for all the plastic noise in this video. Sorry if you don't like it. Hmm. So what have we got? We've got little kind of pebbles, pebbly shapes. We've got kind of brick stone, that kind of look. We've got, no idea, almost looks like sea foam or something like that, doesn't it? That, if you want some kind of patterny background. Random weird shapes. Kind of repeated geometric shapes. Oop, get back, get back. You've had your turn. Ooh, that's quite strange. And it changes how much of it there is as it goes up. Yeah, quite like that one as well geometric pattern and then two more can't oh that one's upside down a little bee one so I've got a bee some flowers yeah I like that and then another little flowery one hold on and I shall have a look how much they were yeah three pounds fifty for all of those and they're quite a good size actually I did get some a while ago from Amazon but they were like half the size of these so these are quite uh, a big size compared to some of the other ones I have so for example Cocoa Wire book they are pretty much nearly as big as a Cocoa Wire book and I think that's been my issue with a lot of the stencils that I have that they're only kind of that kind of size so when you come to do a background you're having to place it in a few different places now it's not as wide as the page but even so, I think they're a more usable size and they are a lot more if I bought that size of stencil normally from Amazon UK, I think. I think I've got another pack of them somewhere. Can I see it in this bag? Oh yeah, I have. While we're doing them, let's get in the other pack as well. Oh, I can't tell you how much plastic there is behind me. Let's do the same. So... These ones are a bit more kind of fancy pattern. Move my shrummit palette up. Ooh, this one might be nice for my journal. What's it say? Reserved file, secret, confidential, urgent, classified, private information, suspect, document, spy. <laughs> I don't know if the words are really appropriate for me. I don't have much that falls into any of these categories, but. There's some quite nice little patterny bits as well. There's little circles, there's little pattern bits down here. Yeah, quite like that as a stencil. And again, same nice big size. We've got these little circles. We've got, is, is that like bark? Kind of feels a bit tree like, doesn't it? Is it a tree? I don't know. Something grown. Oh, spider work. Might be good for some Halloween pages. 
I have no idea what this is. Kind of feels a bit stonewally again, doesn't it? I might use it like that. And that feels like wood bark pattern. And then some little dots and diamonds patterns also would be good for backgrounds. I'm quite pleased with these as well. And they don't feel, I mean they're thin, they're not, you know, substantial stuff, but I've had much thinner than this. I think these aren't bad quality stencils. And I've not noticed there was a little miscut there, isn't there? Just, oh no, there you go, Come, fell out. I've not noticed any kind of faults on them or any bits that weren't cut through properly. Don't stick together. Yeah. Quite pleased with my stencils. Put those two sets together. What else have I got in my bag? Ooh, what is this? Pencil case. Creative pencil case. Not the neatest of stitch work. Mm, don't know if you can see the stitch work, but yeah. If it was one of my students, I'd be like, nah, unpick that. <laughs> that is not okay. But, no mm, pointless packaging. This is the kind of pencil case that you can leave open, is the idea, I think. So that you've got little sections that you can stick things in. Like those sections. And then you've got a big pocket down here and some more that way. But when you've got loose things in here, in theory, I think they're supposed to stay inside the kind of gusset section like that. I thought it'd be quite nice for like if you had a little sketchbook or my journal and I was taking it somewhere. You could have loose things in but they're still kind of contained and you could almost still get a book in there as well. Yeah. Like I say, it's not the straightest of stitch work, but it's not terrible. It's a bit... See, this is how sad I am now. What's all this? <laughs> but it's perfectly usable. Although, what, what is this? Again, bad workmanship. That's what that is. But it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart. It does all feel like the seams are all okay. And it's pink. And because it's quite chunky, I think get quite a bit in that. Quite like that. Useful for work bag for taking bits and pieces around and about. It's not too big. Yeah, that's okay as well. Happy with it. What else have I got? I did spot this on there. So they don't have a huge amount in terms of colouring books. Well, they did have some colouring books, but they were clearly rip-offs of Joanna Basford and a few other artists so I did not touch those at all but this looked like it was something different so Encounter Youth watercolour painting we've got this rubbish brush again but let's see what these are actually like I think these are loose sheets from what I read at the time but these are bigger than I thought so it comes in a little envelope I was kind of thinking they were that size when I was looking at them on the site. Oh, I don't want to rip them. Well, maybe they are that size. Oh, maybe they're not. Let's get rid of the packaging for now. So I think these are, are they watercolour? Sea mountain is mountain. Sea water is water. Sea you is the world. Okay. <laughs> But you've got these sheets that, in theory, you're supposed to be able to watercolour. Yeah, I can't say these are super exciting, mate. As you can see, they are a bit dinged. But the actual image isn't dinged. Then we've got these bits. What's this bit? I think, they, oh, this is the artist work that goes with it. So you can kind of see what they're supposed to look like. They did actually have a video... Um, on the listing of seeing the actual artist do the um, line work on the fabrics. It was quite interesting to watch, which is what made me plump for it, really. Um, so you, it showed you how it was he, she, I don't know which it was, but how they were making the, the patterns on the surface of the garments on the little 
work and it's quite nice they've put a little um, coloured version in there so that you can have a go and then oh yeah they've put you two of the watercolour uh, paper palettes in I think you might struggle to do this with this palette because basically this is entirely green and you only have those two greens on these sheets don't you but I probably would use different paintwork but but that's what it's supposed to look like so oh they've got actually drawn the lines in on the version obviously it's his actual art his her I don't know which it is I don't know why I keep saying that they were just drawing the lines in with watercolor they weren't already drawn on the version you saw them working on but yeah they're not terrible this is not quite as thick as I had imagined I think it did say watercolour card on there, but again, till I get it wet, difficult to say, isn't it? I thought it's something different. I shall have a look how much it was. Whole fire. Okay, that was a highly expensive £2.96. And curiosity just got the better of me. I don't hate it. Will I be brave enough to actually paint it though? That's a different question. There were a couple of different ones, but the other ones, I did prefer a couple of the other ones, but they were all out of stock, so clearly this has been a popular item. What does it actually say? Painting with water, good quality, good colour solubility, easy to carry, cultivate focus. Mm. Do not put residue in your mouth wasn't planning on but thanks for the advice <laughs> uh, what else have we got uh, can't even remember what this was feels like it's a brick <laughs> oh it's the palette the not palette it's the watercolor paper um, I've seen a few people get these um, watercolor I can't get in it Oh, don't like doing that but I can't be bothered fighting with it so I thought I'd see what they were like don't do a huge amount of watercolour work but oh, if I'm feeling it. so this is the Academy watercolour pad uh, cotton 100% cotton acid free 300 GSM and it's 18 by 12 and a half centimeters 7 by 4.9 inches and I'm guessing that's a cover page as it's entirely pink oh, I've not got my knife with me oh. hold on I'll have to pause you and get the pink top off hold on done it done it should have followed the open sign it was kind of clear that's just stupid so this is, yeah, it's a glued pad, so all the pieces are together, which helps prevent any warping. I'm almost loath to have a go at it. It's nice and smooth, though. I'm not a great lover of textured paper, because I'm a bit of a control freak. Obviously, you've got textured paper, it, it will go with the texture. And that annoys me a little bit. So I wanted the smooth to give it a try. But these are quite nice, nice little postcard size. Um... Yeah, I think it was about four pounds or something like that. This, but yeah, I'm curious to see what it's like. Still curious to see what it's like. Oh, what else is in my box for colouring? I also got these more acrylic markers. Yes, I don't need any more acrylic markers, but I thought for a, I'm going to give these a try as well to see what they're like because these looked like like the ones I had already so I was curious oh now they don't look like the ones I have already now they look completely different okay so this is quick painter as you can see there's lids are colored there is is there any numbers or colors richer colors and finer brush tip instructions for use I've no idea what this is Precision control, everything from light pastel washes. I think that's supposed to say too subtle shading and gradients. Use your brush pens with water to create delicate watercolour effects. Hobbies, colouring, la la la. So yeah, no numbers, no colour names. 
and it's oh it is a slightly different um brush nib to my artex ones let me get one They're only behind me get the lid off Ooh. so obviously i use these loads i was curious to see what these were like they are smaller than the artex one but yeah, I was imagining that those brush nips would be similar, but as you can see, that is smaller. Let's find my pad. What have I done with it? Too much stuff. There's literally stuff everywhere now. Okay, so what are these like? Oh, yeah, they're not terrible. Feels very like my Artex marker actually, but the nib is a, is a firmer brush. They're kind of foamy the Artex um, nibs, which I, I quite like them. But the ends do split a little bit when I've been using them a lot, and I obviously do use them like that. Really, I, I use them in very fine line work. Is how I like to use them. So colours. Ooh, I like that colour. Hmm. Again, these are not bad. Let me see how much they were. Hold on. So these ones were 36 for £14.37. My Artex ones are normally about 35 something like that, aren't they? They're, they're much more than these. Um... Yeah, I quite like these. Oh, there is. There's a, is this a metallic? I never use the metallic ones, but you never know. Oh, yeah, it is metallic. It's quite subtle. It's quite nice, though. So we've got green, another blue, I'll put it next to this blue so we can see what the ones that are upside down, yellow, it's a nice strong yellow, brown, Packaging is terrible. Cheap. Packaging in the um, thicker nib ones was much nicer. I'm sad these haven't come in the same kind of packaging. But these will probably be much more used to me personally. Black. Another blue. Let's do the blues together. Mm, similar but a darker shade. Pink. Grey. Where is the black? Uh, that nib felt longer. Maybe I'm imagining it. Oh no, I don't think I am. I think that one is a little bit longer, the grey one. In a good way. It felt more pointy. For want of a better word. That's quite a strange brown, but I quite like it. Dark purple. How similar are they to those? Hmm. Let's see how it dries. Is that a red or a pink? It's quite a funny colour. I don't think it's a slightly into orange, maybe. Another brown. Gold. Do it down near the silver. Oh, 
an orange. It almost feels a bit peachy that rather than orange. Yeah, more peach than orange. Kind of feels like a darker version of of that. The yellow, that's ah yeah, feels a bit more lemon. That one's a bit more banana. White green. I've only got these kind of tealy greens so far. It's quite a nice light green. Orangey yellow. Should fill it with the yellows. Oh, that looks quite similar to that one. Where is that one? I think it was this one. Yeah, they look pretty much the same. So this is both those yellows side by side, but there's there's not much in it as that I think those are pretty much the same. What else have we got? A green and a pink. Do it near that pink. Another pink. Need better greens, less pinks, more better greens. We got left another blue. More of a navy that. Oop. Another blue. This feels like it's a bit like that one. We'll do it near. Oh no, it's darker. It's darker. What else we got left? Oh, limey green. Oh, I like this colour. Move over limey green. Mm. It's quite similar to that when you actually use it though. Not as nice as the actual lid. What else we've got? I've got a grey and one that looks like a grey blue. Let's see. Grey's okay. Let's see what this one's like. Oh yeah, that's quite a nice shade. And what's left? I've got three left in my box. Got another orange. Will it actually be orange? Yay, it's an actual orange. I've got a beige. Alright. And we've got a white. White's going to go over that. We'll see. Yeah, I quite like those as well. Quite happy with both the sets of acrylic markers and these actually feel quite weighty these do feel like they've got a reasonable amount of ink in them um just obviously the packaging is mm, not great i'll pause you and put all this away <laughs> yeah getting them back in this box easier said than done they are not going to stay in this but I thought they were all right for the money and they feel like they have got a reasonable amount of ink in them. They're saying more ink coverage. I don't think the coverage is bad. Dries matte as most of them apart from the little metallics on the end which are quite nice. I quite like the colour palette. Some nice colours in there. Good coverage, water resistant, multi-surface. Oh, It does actually give you the colours on the back there. They're not marked on the pens. Uh, but yeah, I might do a little swatch for them with the names and numbers on. So I maybe number them myself. Premium paint pens offer richer colours, finer, more flexible tips. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with those as well. Overall, I don't hate very much of these. Right, what have I got left? Some daft things. I've got pencil case. I've got two of these. I'll get the other one out as well at the same time. Because I am a big child, obviously. <laughs> oh, 
Why? Where is this one open? Why can I not see it? Sorry for the noise. Ow! Get away, plastic. Oh. <laughs> so I've got these. They're clearly very silly pencil cases. But I thought they're just so cute. I want them. Not going to get loads in them. Actually, they're more roomy than you think, actually, because they're a little square. Is that one the same? Yeah. More pointless plastic. <laughs> Are they different? I don't know. Yeah, they're the same, but different colourways. Fresh strawberry, original milk. Delicious. <laughs> yeah, I quite like them. They're completely stupid. As an result, I shouldn't be buying it. But they're just so cute, aren't they? I'm not going to collect pencil cases, but this comes from... My colleague bought me this one, which is from Paper Chase in the UK, which sadly has closed. So now I can't use it. Now it's a collector's item. <laughs> And I thought, oh, they'll be nice next to that one on my shelf. And now I'm telling myself, you must not buy any more cute pencil cases that you know you're not going to use, that you're just going to collect them. Because we do not need any more tat in this room. But they were cute and I couldn't help myself. So, Plus I can put some pens in. I can put those acrylic pens in, to be fair, because they're not living in that box. Maybe I could put blues in here and pinks in that one. Maybe I'll just collect them on the side. It's probably more likely than things to do. You'll be glad to know we're right near the end now. I've got two. Mm, one more thing left to look at. Ugh. And a lot of plastic to sort through. So, we'll do these little things first. Ooh, that is small. That is smaller than I imagined. That is cute though. So these little tins are, oh. oh, how cute is that? As you can see, little watercolour tins, which way does it open, that you can fill yourself. So this whole little fillable unit comes out, or if I can grab them from earlier, I could obviously if I can get one of these out, pop these in, but these are tiny little tins. Yeah. Apologies for my squeaky chair. So if you're used to the little Renaissance tins, that kind of size, these are obviously way smaller again. Um, so where you get, you know, a good kind of eight in here, normal size ones, because these are just normal size quarter pans, I'm probably gonna get three. I don't even think you'd get six in, or I might get six in. I'm not going to put six in them because it's going to be difficult to get them out again. So we get little sixes in there, but with this little insert, obviously you'll get 12 small ones. So I was thinking if you were going away on holiday and you had sets of watercolours that you could pop into here, these are just going to take up so little space in your luggage, in your handbag, anywhere you want to chuck them. I'm like, they're quite little cute looking. Oh, mine scratched. I can see it scratched now. Now it's gone there. Couldn't see it before, but now I'm looking at it in the camera. I've got a scratched one. Not that it matters. I've chucked it in my bag. It'll be more scratched, won't it? But yeah, those are quite cute. Tiny, but cute. They are smaller than I thought. Let's get rid of all of that. And then my last little item is another little colouring but I did not know when I ordered this that it came with a palette can't get in it, where's the edge oh there, it's there can't get a hold of it oh. but yeah oh, oh it's, it's very very cheap very very cheap palette but 
as I didn't even know it came with one. Can't moan too much. This has the same brush as the other stuff that I've been buying. And then it has a summer fairy tale watercolour painting, compact and portable painting after touching water, natural colour blending. Okay. And it's more of the same kind of thing. So you've got the little, it's almost postcard size though, this. And then the same kind of little palette below. So you've got cake with the little boy by the snowman on a paper aeroplane. Is this some kind of house or a spaceship? Flying bunny, anyway. <laughs> Girl in the plants. Girl on some very strange plants. Water lily with a naughty bunny crossing its legs. Bunny in the pumpkin patch. Little girl singing a tune with a guitar. Great picking. Watering the tulips. That's quite cute. Little fairy and the flowers. And balloons. Having a snooze. Yeah, that's quite cute. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 pages in summer fairy tale. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, so that was a highly expensive £1.86, but I don't think that's bad for that money. Let's see what the actual size of it is. Because it is a funny shape. So it is. 14 and a half centimetres by 12 and a half centimetres or nearly six inches, not quite, by five inches to give you a bit of perspective. And also while we're here, these are tiny. Five and a half centimetres by four and a half centimetres for those. But yeah, I think that's quite cute for the money. I might say for that money, that's okay. And I think that is the end of my Timu collection. I was going to get some coloured pencils, but when I looked, they've only got the claws. And at the time of me ordering this, I'd already ordered a set of claws from AliExpress, which I'll show you shortly on another haul. Well, not on a haul. I'll probably do a video for them separately. But um, So I didn't order any from Timu for that reason, really, that I thought there's no point. I've already ordered them before I'd considered doing this really it's just that these have come first so <laughs> Ali's lost out in that respect that they haven't come on first um but yeah overall I'm fairly pleased with most of my stuff I think the most rubbish thing that I've got is undoubtedly this this just feels like nobody cares at all it was it really is the cheapest of all the things this I think is clever i quite like it but it does feel extraordinarily cheap plastic particularly the fittings around the um water reservoir there and the plastic the pink plastic feels very thin how long that will still last i don't know we'll see i quite like it the idea is really nice um how practical it will be long term I do not know. I suspect this bit will fail, but we'll see. We'll see. Overall, I can't complain. Undoubtedly, packaging is the downfall, I would say. Everything has got no protection at all. It literally just gets chucked in the big orange bag in together. Um, I suspect the only reason this didn't get broken was because I ordered a couple of t-shirts as well and they were in the package with this and they were above and below so I think they helped protect this a little bit plus it had a little bit of polystyrene in the actual items packaging but everything else just got chucked in the bag whether it was something that would get bent or not is irrelevant obviously um you get what you pay for don't you I think if you go and shopping on there you need to be Aware. I wouldn't advise anybody to get any proper colouring books off the 
all the ones that they were showing were clearly um, not authorised colouring books. So I didn't touch them at all. I think you do have to use a bit of common sense. If it looks cheap, it probably is um, when you're buying it. But overall, I'm quite happy with the selection I've got. I need to have a play about and try out this watercolour paper is like but I've heard quite good things about this so I'm not too worried about these I think that's on Ali as well um, yeah overall I'm quite pleased I'll try and link everything below just in case there is something that you're interested in um, I suppose this is the one item that I would recommend for six pounds if I ordered something like this from Jackson's it certainly wouldn't be six pounds um, it'd be a lot more so I thought that was quite a good buy I'm quite pleased with my acrylic markers. I think they're quite nice. Um, yeah. Ups and downs, but considering it was only a little cheap thing that I thought was the cheapest thing, overall, I'm quite pleased. Hopefully, there was something that was interesting to you along the way. Sorry for all this. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.